TikTok's CEO is testifying before Congress this morning. And March Madness is back today with a Sweet 16. I'm Jeff Pierre, and this is The 7 from The Washington Post. It's Thursday, March 23rd. Let's get you caught up with today's 7 Stories. First up, Donald Trump received another legal blow yesterday. An appeals court ruled that the former president's lawyer has to turn over evidence related to the classified documents found at Mar-a-Lago. That's Trump's Florida home. His lawyers had argued that this material was protected. In a separate case, the grand jury in New York investigating whether Trump falsified business records and broke campaign finance laws did not meet yesterday. And it's not clear why. Number two, the government plans to overhaul the U.S. organ transplant system. It's had serious problems for years. Nearly 104,000 people are on the wait list. 22 people die each day, and poor and minority patients are usually the ones most affected. Government officials plan to break up the monopoly that has managed the transplant system for the past 37 years. They also plan to improve the technology used to coordinate transplants and bring more oversight and transparency. TikTok CEO is testifying before Congress this morning. That's story number three. Show Zi Chu will try to address concerns that the video app poses a national security threat. It's owned by a Chinese company called ByteDance. He posted a TikTok this week talking about the app and what the U.S. could lose if TikTok is banned. I'm here in Washington, D.C. today, and uh, I have some news and updates to share with everyone here. Now, this comes at a pivotal moment for us. Some politicians have started talking about banning TikTok. Now, this could take TikTok away from all 150 million of you. The Biden administration is pushing for TikTok to be sold to an American company. And lawmakers on both sides have stepped up efforts to ban the app entirely. Number four, hormonal contraceptives may slightly increase the risk of breast cancer. Hormonal birth control, including progestin-only contraceptives, is linked with a 20 to 30 percent increase in breast cancer risk. This is according to a new study, but that's not as unexpected or alarming as it may sound. These findings are broadly in line with risks that researchers already knew about, and overall, those risks are small. Putting it another way, a group of 100,000 women between 16 and 20 years old taking birth control could see a further eight cases of breast cancer. So experts say it's no reason to stop taking birth control. Contraceptives have other benefits, including a possible lower risk of ovarian cancers. Number five, a damaging tornado hit just east of Los Angeles yesterday. Sheesh! Oh my God! Look at this! Yo! What the hell is going on? The roof blew off. Tornadoes are pretty rare in the Los Angeles area, and California residents like these two got almost every form of hazardous weather this week. Yesterday's came from a wave of storms moving through the state. The late morning twister damaged cars, buildings, and injured at least one person. In related news, water temperatures in the Gulf of Mexico are abnormally warm. That could mean there's a bad tornado season ahead for the U.S. Here's number six. March Madness is back today with the men's Sweet 16. There are four games tonight and four tomorrow. Kansas State versus Michigan State is up first today at 6.30 p.m. Eastern on TBS. There are only two number one seeds left. Both Alabama and Houston play tomorrow. In the women's tournament, Sweet 16 games start tomorrow with Miami and Villanova tipping off first at 2.30 p.m. on ESPN. And number seven, we've got some good news and some bad news for all you coffee drinkers. A new study examined the health effects of drinking a cup or more of coffee. 
People who drink coffee took on average a thousand more steps a day. Coffee can lower your risk of chronic disease and perhaps even extend your lifespan. But coffee drinkers also lost about 36 minutes of sleep. The more coffee they drank, the less they slept. I'll think a little bit more about this while I'm drinking another cup of coffee and getting those steps in. You're all caught up for today. But before you go, here's the TikTok news we didn't get to this morning. I made my big Washington Post TikTok debut yesterday, talking about the podcast, of course. So shout outs to Dave, Chris, and Carmela, our talented TikTok team. You can find them and the video at Washington Post. That's one word on the app. Check it out and leave a comment and like the video. I'm Jeff Pierre, and I'll meet you back here tomorrow.